Hi, so today we're going to be focusing on embedding images for your assignments. This is going to be very important because for a lot of your weekly assignments and some essays and things like that, you're going to have to use the embed image feature on Canvas so that you can directly upload an image into your writing as opposed to just linking to something online so that people when they're they're reading your work can just glance and see the image without having to go to a different screen. So this is your week one assignment here, what we're looking at right now. And I'm gonna take you through four different ways, ranging from super simple, as in drag and drop, into slightly more complicated, but nothing that's going to take too much time or too many steps. Um, so we'll begin with the drag and drop and uh, how you can respond to the initial post in the assignment in order to embed that image and write what you need to write. So as you can see here, you're supposed to write three paragraphs and embed an image for your initial post due Thursday, January 1st. So for that initial post, you're just gonna go directly underneath, and uh, I already actually clicked reply. Let me go back here so you can see that. Of course, it's taking a moment to load. Okay, so we've got our introduction images. Clicking on that and then you see your assignment, you read your instructions, and then you want to reply to this first post to do your first post right here. When you go to the point where you're gonna comment on your classmates' work, you wanna scroll down and then find a really cool post that you wanna comment on. I love Wayne Tebow. I love that somebody posted this. <laughs> and then you will click on the reply button directly underneath their post in order to do your comments. Usually in comments, you won't have to embed images, but occasionally that will be necessary and the technique will be exactly the same as for doing it for initial posts. So for right now, we're going to pretend we're just submitting our initial assignment. We'll click reply here and that opens up this window. What you want to do first and foremost is locate the embed image feature and that's right here and it's very easy to spot because when you put your cursor on top of it you see the words embed image. The easiest way to embed an image is to find your image online and then drag and drop it. So what you need to do is open up, okay you've got your response window here and then you open up another tab and I've already done the search actually because my favorite work of art that I'm going to discuss is Marco Cochran's Bliss Dance. Um, so I'm going to search for that. I got my search results and then I'll click images. That's going to give me a lot of different options. The one I want to use, let's say is, let's see. Oh, they're all so good. Let's say I want to use that one. Okay. So I click on that one and it shows up here. Very rarely can you drag and drop an image directly from a Google image search result. So you want to click on that again. And then that often takes you just to the website where that image came from. And then here's the image. So if I put my cursor over this, it's usually very hard to drag and drop from there. What you want to do is click again and again and again until you get a URL that ends with a photo file. JPEG is the most common photo file, though there's TIFF and GIF and uh, PNJ. Those are the most common photo file names. You'll usually see JPEG. For this one, this is something you would be able to drag and drop because it has that JPEG extension. So you're going to click on the image and then you'll see that, hopefully you can see that, the little file image pop up, and you will take it to the tab where you want to drag and drop it, and you'll just plunk that into the body of your writing. And if you want to change the size, nothing complicated, just click on the image, and then you have these handlebars here where you can make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And as you can see, that's gotten really big, maybe a little too big. So now we'll shrink it down a little bit and then that will nicely fit that into our writing space. And what you wanna do, it's kind of hard to see, 
but there's this blinking cursor on the right side of the image that is <laughs> the height of the entire image. It's easier to see if you just push the space bar and then you see a regular size cursor there. You'll hit return and then you can write underneath that image. Okay, and that's where you're gonna say like, this is great, yay. Okay, but if you turn that in alone, you would probably not get a lot of credit. Okay, so let's undo that so I can show you a couple of different ways to do this. So pasting the URL into the embed image feature also works. And what you'll do for that is, okay, you've got your image, you've got your search, you've done, and you've found the URL that has the photo file extension. You're gonna select that entire URL and copy it. Okay, and then you will go back to your assignment click on embed image, and then this will pop up. If you're going to paste a URL, make sure that URL is selected. You can also paste an image into Canvas, or you can paste a URL from Flickr. Um, I don't recommend doing that unless you have a whole bunch of great images already saved on Flickr. Because if you're trying to use somebody else's images from that site, um, there's lots of copyright problems and, you know, it's, it's just a lot more steps than you really need to do. So you're going to go back to URL, you'll click there, and you'll just paste that URL that you found from your image search in Google Images. Don't worry about alternate text, decorative images, or dimensions, because you can actually just adjust the dimensions once you get it into the uh, text box, and you can use those handles to resize it. So we'll click Update. And see, we pasted the image again. And then we can click on the image and use this tool to resize it. Okay? So that's the second way of doing this. The third way is slightly more, well, it's not complicated, but it's a couple of more steps. Now let's say you're working on a Mac and you have photos. Um, all of you know what the photos are. And you've already saved a whole bunch of images that you, you want to use. Maybe even it's an image that you've taken yourself and you only have it in photos. You don't have it actually hosted somewhere online. So if you open up your photos, let, I've done this a couple of times here. <laughs> if you open up your photos, find that photo you want and put it in a place that's easy for you to find, whether that's putting it in a new folder or moving it all the way down to the, the last choice in your uploads. All right, I'm gonna delete this again so we can start from scratch. Okay, this time we're going to do the link to an image that's already on Canvas. So for this, we have to leave the assignment and we're gonna go to Files. Now this would probably not be highlighted for you yet uh, because you haven't uploaded any files yet but you're gonna click on files. That will take you to this page. And I've already made a folder called images to embed for assignments. That might be something you wanna do if you like to keep your files, images, submissions organized. Um, I made this folder just to make it easier to do this demonstration. If you wanna make a new folder, you just click on plus folder, add folder and say, new folder just for fun. Although that would be weird if you added that. So we're gonna go to embed <laughs> images folder and then we'll open that up. Actually, we don't need to open it. We just need to like have it available. But let's say I hadn't already added these. We want to upload the file that we're going to use for this assignment because we just couldn't find it online or we had taken the image ourselves and it was not already hosted online. So we'll click upload. And then for, I'm just doing this for a Mac. It, it would be very similar on Windows. I just can't visually show you that. I'm sure you can figure out the differences, but I'm gonna click on photos. And then here's our image that we wanna upload and we just click open.
That's taking a while, which is weird. Maybe because I already uploaded it twice today. Oh, there we go. It's finally doing it. Okay, so our image is uploading now. It usually takes less than a minute. It usually takes less than 10 seconds. But once that's done, it's going to show up in this list down here of items that are in the embed images folder. And again, you don't have to put them in a labeled folder. You can just have all of your files in there. I like to keep it a little bit more organized. That's just me. Um, and I want to rename this because full size output 750 doesn't really mean anything to me. I'm going to put my cursor over that and just say, oh wait, no, sorry. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say rename. It works a little bit differently every time they update Canvas. So I'm going to say list dance 2. All right. Now we have the file that we want to upload. So from here, we can just go back to our assignment. Week one assignment. And then we'll go down to reply. And we can use our embed image feature here. And instead of saying we're going to get that image source from a URL, we're going to get that image from Canvas because we just uploaded it to Canvas and we're going to link to that. So we'll go to course files and we said, I have to remember to delete that. We're going to go to images to embed for assignments. And we're going to go to Bliss Dance 2 because that's the one we just uploaded that we want to submit with our assignment. And then we will update. And there we go. It just pops it right in there. And you can also click on that and resize it. Or you can leave it really big if you really like that. And then you can probably see on this one up here a little bit better because it's lighter. That's a blinking cursor there. Just hit the space bar if you want to know where the cursor is and then return and it's going to take you underneath your image so you can start writing. Now, there's one more way of doing this if you have an image you really want to use, but there's absolutely no way for you to download it into your own pictures folder or to link to it online. And that's the screenshot. So I'm going to delete that. Start over again. Now, so this is the uh, fourth way of doing it. Let's say we've searched for our image. We found Bliss Dance. And then we found our picture. Yay, we clicked on it. But let's pretend this did not have JPEG on the end of it. Let's say we tried to drag and drop it. We tried to save it. We tried to download it. And it was just not going to happen. Sometimes things are embedded in very complicated ways. So what we're going to do now is take a screenshot. And on a Mac, this is Command Shift 3. Hold all three buttons down together, and it makes that clicking photography sound. I believe on a PC, even though I don't have one in front of me right now, I believe it's Function Screenshot. And Screenshot is kind of indicated above one of the numbers at the top. Um, you might have to search that out in a little more depth um, on your own because I have not done that in a very long time. I've been a Mac person for over 10 years. So if we're on our Mac and, and on a PC, it would be the same at this point also. We've taken a screenshot and where you find that is in your finder. Okay, so we've got screenshot taken at... 137. Yeah, it's 138. So that's the one. We want to open that. And then we want to edit it so that when people are looking at this image, they're not looking at all the stuff around it, just being able to focus on the image. So we're going to pull the screenshot 
in, oh, wait, that didn't come with me. Come on. Don't be stubborn. You're being stubborn. All right. I'm just going to pull that. There we go. We're going to pull that down into photos. And then we're going to open up that screenshot. Click edit. We'll crop so that all we're looking at is that image. And then we're done with that. Okay. And so this is now the photo that is edited and available in our files, in our photo files. And you're going to follow exactly the same procedure as you would for uploading a regular photo. Oh, yeah, photo. <laughs> you're going to go files, upload, and we'll go photos. And that's, I believe, the one we did. Open. It's going to upload for us. There it is. That's the one. And then when you need to, you're just going to go to assignments. Introduction images. You'll do your reply. Embed images. Canvas because we've already uploaded it to Canvas. And then we we didn't actually put it in the images to embed folder yet, so we'll go straight to file size output because that's what it was called. We'll do that. And then ah, I went past it. And then we'll update. And this will pop that in there. Again, we're gonna resize it because that's pretty big. And then we will start typing our response there. Okay, so that is the end of our initial tutorial in embedding images. I always welcome you to message me if you have any questions. And uh, obviously if you want to talk, you can call, you can text only between the hours of 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Monday to Friday, with the exceptions of holidays. But I'm always happy to chat. And I hope you enjoy the class and that you've enjoyed this demonstration.